Welcome back to Test Lucky, the YouTube channel where you can follow the adventures of Lucky the Tesla. On this particular day, we had just arrived back from a round trip, day trip to Miami. We had gone about 278 miles that day. As you can see, I am plugging Lucky into the brand new Tesla superchargers in Big Pine Key. These are the new V3 250 kilowatt superchargers in Monroe County in the Florida Keys. And I was curious to see what the fastest charge we could get on Lucky at these new chargers would be. And I thought the stars were aligned on this particular day because as you can see, we plugged in at low state of charge. Lucky is at 14% battery. Lucky was the only Tesla at the superchargers at this particular time. I plugged into the closest stall to the electrical box. This was about 6 p.m. It's about 90 degrees out. And Lucky also has the high amperage charger upgrade. So I thought that the stars and the moon and the sea and the tides would all be aligned here, that we were going to get the fastest charge ever in Lucky's life. We did not. So far, the fastest charge we have ever seen with Lucky was 159 kilowatts that we saw in Marietta, Georgia superchargers. And that was back in June of 2021. Now you can see here, Lucky has hit 138 kilowatts. And this is where she stops. Now there's a lot of really smart people watching this channel. So I asked the question, why? Because I find this so perplexing. Why does it say 250 kilowatts max? And in these circumstances that you just saw, why didn't we get higher than 138 kilowatts? If you have any knowledge or theories on this topic, please let's discuss in the comments. Now, I'm also curious, do the Teslas with the 100 series batteries, can they get all the way up to 250 kilowatts or can they get closer than our older Tesla uh, 2016 here? Can somebody please let us, uh, somebody with a 100 series battery, please leave us a comment. Let us know what the fastest charge you have ever seen. Now, I also want to say I understand why the Teslas charge faster at the superchargers when the state of charge is low and then it slows down considerably as the charge level increases above say like 60 to 80 percent and i also understand when the superchargers are full and there's multiple teslas that they're going to be uh, slower but if i'm the only tesla charging why can't tesla program the superchargers to let me keep charging at the max speed which would decrease the amount of time it takes me to get up to 80%, 90%, 100% if I'm in road trip mode. I, I'm just really curious about this topic. I wanted to put this video on the channel. Again, not to complain that these chargers aren't fast enough or they don't work uh, well enough. They're awesome. We're so happy that they're here. But please comment if you have any observations, any thoughts or theories on this charge.